Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, the topic under discussion is focused on Google AI Pro. When explaining the Google AI Pro version, it includes two models, Pro and Ultra. At the moment, there's a promotional offer in which a free model is being provided. But Google AI Pro is currently available at zero Pakistani rupees per month. However, after utilising the complimentary access for a month, the subscription shifts to a fee of 5,600 Pakistani rupees per month. On a broader scale, this becomes a lengthy process and paying for it can be quite inconvenient. So in this video, the complete method will be shared on how to access this tool automatically and how to activate a free trial that lasts indefinitely. During this trial, it's possible to use VEO3, VEO2, and also benefit from the Imagine feature included with VEO2. Well, if a new tab is opened and navigated to Labs, it provides access to the flow and other experimental features, but with limited functionality. Instead of using that, to unlock the free trial, the process requires heading over to the Cloud Skills Boost platform. This will be written out shortly. By accessing Cloud Skills Boost, which is part of Google services, various learning options become available. Once the link is clicked, a message will appear indicating that the right cloud learning pathway has been found. Everything is being explained step by step to make it easier to understand clearly. Upon reaching this link, the next step is to click on the Explore section. Within the Explore feature, several courses are accessible. The first step involves signing in, and towards the end, there will be a tour focused on cloud sustainability, but the walkthrough will continue from there. The agreement must first be accepted, and following that, the relevant year needs to be entered. A verification will appear asking to confirm that it's not a robot, and after that, the agreements will be accepted. This leads to the Google Cloud service, where several options are presented. Some of the available categories include the classify option, big data derivatives and more. From here, the keyword sustainability will be used to search automatically. Upon entering the keyword, the sustainability tour lab becomes available. After clicking on it, a complete feature is shown. This includes access to a guided tour and provides a hands-on lab experience related to Google's tools. It covers all the basic elements needed for usage. The important part here is that regardless of the subject or level of expertise, all labs follow the same interface. The lab being discussed will appear similar in layout. Through this, a foundational experience will be gained. There's a capture that must be acknowledged, so it will be enabled now. Once verification is completed, it will proceed instantly. After successful verification, a student ID and password will be generated. Next, a console needs to be opened specifically for the lab, and that can be done through an incognito window. Upon entering incognito mode, the email prompt will appear. At this stage, both screens will be split for easier navigation. As soon as the screen is divided, the student ID will be copied and pasted directly. After completing that step, the password will be copied, pasted into the prompt, and then the process will move forward. Following this, the option for a new account will appear. Here, a confirmation will be given by selecting Yes, I understand. After that, we will go directly to our Cloud Console. As you can see, our Cloud Console is available in complete working, where we can try out anything. As you can see, we have our project name. We have our student ID. We will agree to term of service and email update when we include it. Here our mail is completely working. We also have our project ID. This has been provided only for a limited time. If we go here to Google AI Labs, access to Google AI Labs will be granted. Once inside Google AI Labs, either Google Labs or Google AI Studio can be used to explore the features. A prompt will appear stating, it's time to build, and Gemini functionality will be accessible. An API key will be readily available and all the necessary options can be accepted from there. Once accepted, a complete workflow will be visible. Through it, access to premium models becomes possible, including Gemini 2.5 Flash, 2.5 Glow, Flashlight, 
and Gemini 2.0. Each of these models is available. In addition to that, by selecting the Generate Media section, tools like Imagine, Gemini and VEO will be accessible for advanced generation tasks. If Google Drive is enabled, it can be used for building purposes and software integration. Various activity histories will also be visible. One important point here is that the account currently in use will automatically log out after a short period. For example, after spending about 43 minutes, if the session ends, simply switch to another model or account. For instance, by using a different login, the same process can be repeated. It takes just one or two minutes and another lab becomes accessible. This process can be repeated without limitation, allowing continuous access to projects. The API can be used, a local platform is available, and monitoring tools can also be accessed. In the billing section, all resources are offered at no cost. There is no payment required. The current project does not have a billing account because it is utilising free access. Premium models and professional versions can also be accessed through this method. Additionally, AI Studio is available for further exploration. If this video was helpful, consider subscribing and enabling notifications. Upcoming videos will explain how these labs can be utilised in custom setups. When the current session is stopped, it can be restarted again. Once restarted, a new base will be captured, and with that capture, a different account will be assigned. For example, previously the account might have been student1, but now a new account like student2d71eed or 808de may appear. These accounts can also be accessed easily by opening them in an incognito window. After logging in, the lab can be used again, and Google AI Lab can be accessed repeatedly through this method. If there are any questions, or if something does not function properly, feel free to ask in the comments. Since this method needs to be updated frequently, it's important to stay current, because after some time, the lab option may be removed from that section. Access can be granted to another account if needed. For more updates and useful tips related to this process, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That way, updates will be received as soon as they are available.